today's video, I'll be showing you 10 Amazon slash AliExpress accessories that will make your Jetta or Golf experience a way more prestige one. Now, before we jump in, I would like to give an update on the previous video that I made. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But anyways, a lot of you were curious, how does that actually fit in? And it's super simple. It base it literally, once you cut it, once you trim it, how I showed it in the video, it just tucks in, in between these two panels and it stays there for good. I've had this car driving with this accessory for 500 kilometers in the rain and different wind, highways, so city driving, you know, and I washed it a few times already and it still stays on there solid. So I experienced literally no issues. And another thing I would like to address with this mod or accessory is that uh, it's not really visible during the daylight. Right now it's around 9 p.m. so it's getting dark so you can kind of see it even though it's bright but during the daylight once the sun is out you cannot see it guys so this is strictly meant to be a night mode if you want it to be a day mode then you probably need to try another way other than the optical fiber tube this will not work during the day very well Alright guys, to begin with, I'm gonna show you the first accessory, which is a key fob. And this accessory is actually strictly for the MK7 Jetta or GLI, because uh, every Volkswagen for some reason has a different one. However, it might fit a few other new VWs, I'm just not sure which ones. One thing for sure is that it unfortunately does not fit the MK7 and MK7.5 Golf. Uh, but there are different key fob cover styles for it, so you can probably find one for yourself uh, to your likings. But anyways, look at the one that I found for this particular Jetta. And it's gorgeous. Like, I love the way it looks. It's so solid. The style is perfect. It's really solid here at the back. It's pretty solid in the front. The buttons are a little bit smoother. It has this carbon texture looks pretty nice and I got myself a red color it comes with a variety of different colors I got myself a red one and I also got myself a green one like the aqua blue green whatever you call that color I got it in that color as well and I am extremely happy with the way these look now I'm not sure how can you get this one in the automatic model because as you know this button in the middle is split in half because the manuals does not uh, come with the remote engine start but if you are a manual owner or anyone who has this kind of key fob without the remote start, you're in luck. Go get this one. It's amazing. I'm extremely happy with it. And it looks way more prestige than the naked key fob. Like, that's just, that's just ugly. As I was editing this video, I came to realize that this key fob cover, unfortunately, is no longer selling. I'm gonna still put the link to it down below in the description in case it does come back to it. But if it doesn't, it's no big deal because I'm gonna put a few more alternatives there. And as a bonus, I'm gonna put one for the Golf. So go get those before they sell out. Most of you guys probably know already that uh, this Jetta from factory comes with some incandescent lights that includes front indicators, which I have already done the replacement for. So you can go check that video out here if you haven't yet. And it also includes the lights in the interior and the trunk as well, of course. So a really good idea to make your car look a lot more prestige is to replace these as well. Because, well, even though the stock lights are pretty bright because uh, Volkswagen did put some reflectors in there, it's still, it's still yellow, it's still incandescent. It doesn't look prestige. And now to give you an idea, guys, it's still bright outside. And when I open the door, it means like all these lights are gonna light up. Just look at this. It lights up the whole car and the back too. That's how bright these guys are. That is crazy. So guys, definitely recommend to do this. Um, to know how to do it properly, there's a video by a channel called Precision LED. Go check those guys out. Uh, they will show you all the required tools that you'll need. You'll need some uh, trim removal tools. Uh, once you have that, just add a little bit of patience to that and you'll have uh, these amazing results. It's totally worth it, guys. 
Yeah, sure. Jetta has pretty nice ambient lighting from factory. Sure, you can add even nicer colors with, uh, with OBD11. But what if I told you that you can make this experience even nicer? Yes, you guessed it right. These are the LEDs that you typically see on your Instagram or Facebook ads. But trust me, guys, combining the two of these is the move, especially if you hardwire it like I did. Now, yes, these are not uh, synced to each other, and that's perfectly fine. In a lot of prestige cars, uh, I'm not gonna say you can control them from your phone, but you can uh, mix different colors, and that's exactly what you can do here. I personally like purple and red. Just look at that. That's pretty cool. And blue and red, green and red, and you can change your uh, ambient colors here to whatever you want. And guys, like combining the colors is the move. It is the freaking move, guys. I'm telling you, if you haven't done this yet to your Jetta, go do this freaking right now. Now guys, this USB port right here is completely useless if you do not have any back passengers. You have your wireless charging right here, you have another one right there. So I felt like, you know, I better fix the mistake or I guess uh, add something. Uh, and basically, this is it. And uh, let me turn it off. So adds a little bit of illumination there in case you need to grab something from there pretty convenient unless you are using this USB stick but I find it extremely useless because this is not a port that connects you to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto so to me it's pretty useless oh yeah and there's a variety of colors that you can pick from um, I like to keep it on white but sometimes I'd put in red especially when I have some other red accents in the interior like I picked this color for now it'll do so this kind of matches and, and blends in pretty nice <laughs> Now, you probably would think that uh, I should have included this in the video with the interior lights as well, but no, I should not because I did not replace the light bulb here. I replaced the whole thing. Here I have the stock, uh, I guess I can call it a light block or a light cube. And I ordered the whole thing. And trust me, I have tried to replace just the light bulb. And this is like three times brighter. Since we're already in the trunk, I would like to show you this uh, trunk liner or trunk mat, however you want to call it. It doesn't really look as good as the OEM one, but this is like five times cheaper. So guys, if you need something to protect your trunk, if you're carrying a lot of stuff and you are on a tight budget, I definitely recommend this, even though it takes some time to arrive, but at the end of the day, it's worth it. Speaking of the liners, we'll have to jump back into the interior where I have these uh, leather or synthetic leather, aka leatherette door liners. And you can see on the other side as well. This is the mod that GTI or Golf doesn't really need because that door pocket already comes kind of carpeted in there. Um, but in the Jetta, it's plastic. And honestly, this helps a lot when you actually carry stuff in there. I don't at the moment. I have my hand sanitizer chilling in here, but when I do put stuff in there, it protects the plastic from scratches, from vibrations from driving or from the speakers. I like to listen to my music loud, so that's kind of important. Uh, most importantly, it just, it looks slick and you can find a bunch of different designs for uh, this specific accessory. Now, it did come with the back door covers as well, but unfortunately those did not fit. Um, however, I did open a dispute with AliExpress and they were, were able to refund me uh, half the price for it. So I ended up being pretty happy about it. And overall, uh, I am happy about the accessory itself. I, I like how it just completes the look of the car. It actually does. <laughs> Now this particular accessory is nothing too exciting or special but I felt like it was worth bringing it up because especially if you have a GLI like myself or a GTI for that matter uh, the accents of your interior are red and to add this little touch I feel is uh, it's actually adding 
it's not too significant but it's still something that i felt would look pretty good and it's super easy to install you just wipe the area with some alcohol and stick it in it stays on pretty solid and it just you know it, it feels nice as well not just looks nice so this accessory in particular is actually nothing too visual uh, maybe you can actually see it uh, this is supposed to be a ceiling strip that basically separates uh, like it fills the gap between the windshield and the, the panels of the interior and the purpose of that is to eliminate that annoying um, annoying rattle that the Volkswagen interior does sometimes I have noticed quite a bit of a difference in that and for the price that this thing costs I definitely recommend everyone who's experiencing these rattles to get one because I have noticed a significant decrease in them. So go get it. Now this accessory right here, not only will make your open door state a lot nicer, but it will also protect these locks from any dirt, salt or any other particle that will make it rust over time. And it's, it's really simple to install. Like this doesn't glue, it just kind of snaps on there, like it belongs there, which I actually feel that it does. Uh, and yeah, like it's it just a nice, slick, more organized look. For the price that you pay for these, totally worth it, guys. On this point guys, this video comes to an end. I would like to thank you all for sticking around and watching it till the end. I'm not gonna beg you for likes or subscribes, but if you have any questions at all, please leave them down in the comments. I'll answer all of them, I promise you. And on this note, peace out till next time.